Hola, buenos dias, and welcome to Ibiza. We're in Ibiza, but we've got the kids with us. We're on a family holiday to Ibiza in a hotel, which is basically just for kids. It sounds mad, because when you tell everyone you're going to Ibiza, you expect parties and raves, but we're having tantrums, dancing, and learning experiment here, all at this hotel. So Tui Blue, Aura, I think it's previously known as another name. If you can see there in the background, there's the slide. But the first thing to note is this is where your coach is going to drop you off. But what I'm going to do with this video is take you all the way through the hotel, show you the layout so, so you can get to grips with it before uh, you arrive, if you've booked. And if you're contemplating it, at the end, I'll be doing a summary of what I have found really good about this hotel. And I have found some amazing people, amazing parts of the hotel. The location is uh, awesome. But we're just going to be walking through the hotel, through the water park. We're going to have a look around to the best we possibly can but what you've got to understand is and anticipate at this particular point is there are people at the swimming pool so the recordings have been done in a manner to respect people's privacy as they are sunbathing there's a two of blue sign the coach will drop you off here as well your bags will be dropped here this is the best way to go with your suitcases up and around or grab one of those trolleys there And then your bed's there. Bed there. I'll be for that. Thank you. 
Alright, go on, Jax. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little trip down to the beach. As you can tell, it was, I know fast forwarded that there, but it was four minutes walk, exactly four minutes down to a beautiful little beach like that. The negative side of being down by the beach is there are no taps to wash your feet off or clean afterwards, but that is the only like, little negative. But it is absolutely beautiful. A beautiful little walk, and you can feed the fish like a clipping, a little clip of my kids here. Feeding the fish, take a bit of bread from the hotel, stale bread, feed the fish, happy days. So. Koi Fish Johnny, got fish in the video again, baby. So I thought I'd come back onto the balcony to tell you about my experience here at Tui Blue Aura, um, the family hotel in Ibiza. And, just, and as look at it, it is absolutely beautiful. And if you can just hear that background of the waves smashing against the rocks, I mean, it's not too rough of a day, but the sound of those waves, we have really enjoyed sitting on the bed there, looking over this and just absorbing that. But well, firstly, the room i'm sure you'll agree it is a mega view from room 2003 well worth um an upgrade onto the front line i think especially this room because of the convenience of it as well because where our room's located is right next to the stage and we like engaging in the late night parties with the kids running around and darting around when i say late night it's like it ends at like half 10 11 o'clock and we've never had a problem sleeping here we're on the back so we don't really get too much noise from the stage if you like but the massive massive huge convenience of it of life in this room is the fact that we can use our toilet as a nighttime toilet if you know what i mean whereas everyone else has to go into the general restrooms we can just it's easier shorter more convenient to come all the way back here and if you've got a kid in nappies 
you know what I'm saying. It's a lot, lot easier. And if you forget anything, et cetera, et cetera. So the convenience of the location of the room, brilliant. The location in general in Ibiza, obviously that speaks for itself. The hotel's positioning is brilliant. We haven't really been out that much of the hotel other than down to the beach, which I've shown you feeding the fish, which is amazing and free. So you take a couple of pieces of stale bread, take them down, feed the fish. Uh, what is it, a four minute walk I think I signed it at. Just less than four minutes is a standard walk kid free walk so maybe eight minutes with kids depending on your kids so one of the earliest things i want to talk about is the staff here there are a few members of staff that have absolutely made our trip here special one is caitlin she has worked with my my regular viewers now i've got an introverted son and an extroverted crazy son and the introverted son sometimes need a bit of work on him but the work took place really early on. He was encouraged into the activities and found his feet and found his engagement levels and really found his confidence going into it to the extent that we found it hard keeping tabs on him later on. So, yeah, Caitlin was absolutely amazing as part of the entertainment team. Another one is Bryony. She, our Jacks, like, we're worried a little bit about him going to kids' club. He does nursery at home and he's just started school, but he, with him being quite a shy kid, we was worried about him going into kids' club, whether he'd adapt to it, whether he'd take to it, whether it would be just like, it'd be useless facilities for us. As in our previous hotel, where we stopped in Gran Canaria, he didn't have that confidence to go in, and I don't think the encouragement was to the level that Bryony's was here. Because Bryony, as you can see on the picture here, he, I mean, the cuddle speaks for itself, doesn't it? She is amazing with Ajax. And having them in kids' club when you're on holiday in a kids' hotel, which is another point I want to talk about in a minute, that little bit of piece is priceless. But when I talk about a kids' hotel, I was a bit skeptical coming here. My wife really wanted to come. I was an, a bit unsure with it just being kids' hotel, so I thought, I'm not a massive, massive, massive kid person. Obviously, I love my kids. <laughs> And I love spending time with them, and I love doing activities, but I also like dad time and adult time. And I thought there'd be too many kids running around and it'd be too crazy. And to be honest, I don't think I'd do a, personally, depends on what my wife says like, or uh, what she dictates, shall I say. But me personally, I don't think I'd do an all kids hotel again, because when your kids get overwhelming and tired and difficult and tantrumy and stuff, you generally come away from that and in another hotel you can escape from it. In this hotel you generally, you have to go, uh, sort of go out the complex because other people are in the same situation as you and they're experiencing the same challenges that you're experiencing. So there's no escaping the child thing. So that's my personal preference. My wife is the complete opposite. She loves it here for the kids. She loves the, um, the fact it's built for the kids, the entertainment's for the kids. Everything's geared around the kids so it's amazing. But from the kids' perspective, if they could comprehend it being two and four, they have had the best holiday of their life so far, undoubtedly, due to the people that work here. So one of the things that wasn't that great was the restaurant is only small compared to the amount of people that are there. And we have had people, and I've never had this, and I've traveled the world quite a lot of places in my time. Um, and generally the buffet restaurant is huge in most places because they know that generally most people will eat there. I've never been to a place that's got such a small buffet restaurant for the, the amount of people that's here. Like last night, for instance, there was a big arrival and people were queuing to get into the buffet restaurant all the way through reception there. And I, found, I felt that was a little bit disappointing and the food is just standard really. It's, it's nothing to write home about, but it's, it's okay. Uh, they had a barbecue today and the barbecue food was actually really nice because this this is a massive point actually the nighttime entertainment i don't think i've waited at the bar more than three minutes generally it's only one deep because they work their asses off in there and i mean they work and work and work but at the bar during the evening which i know can be a bugbear at a lot of people's hotels that they stop at especially when you're all inclusive and they aren't that motivated to get you through fast here i don't think i've ever done over three minutes and when i say over three minutes i mean three minutes being the max and a rarity generally you're talking 20 30 seconds i'd say on average if you timed it and the drinks quality particularly the alcohol spot on some of the cocktails the pepe special and the other one, i can't remember his name and betty specials they do all they all do like a little specials thing and instead of drinking my regular drinks last night i drank all these specials with a few shots and uh i'd like to say they were amazing really really nice another point that isn't that great is sometimes the kids uh, everything is run through the app so you really need to get on the app as quick as you can and some of the kids clubs they do book up quite quickly if you're intending to have a little bit of a break from your children for a little bit, which sounds wrong on holiday, doesn't it? But let's face it, sometimes we get tired. 
and they don't and that's a problem and that's where kids call step in they are amazing like i said about brian here phenomenal but sometimes they buck up real quick so you need to get on that app as quick as you can and i think it refreshes itself at like two o'clock the day before don't quote me on that that's just what another mum said uh, and we we have personally hit a few problems when we wanted a little bit more support but they were fully booked and that nicely brings on to johnny's bonus tip and this is absolutely massive and saved us a bloody fortune i'm telling you because there is so many nice people here that have already bought stuff already have stuff and already uh but are going home and obviously don't want it to be blue or a facebook group join that honestly join that you will learn so much there's so many nice people on there sharing and giving stuff like we're going to give a load of donuts and uh bolts and not real life bolts like inflatable bolts um we're going to leave them by our door because that's what everyone does on the last day they leave everything that they're not taking home at the door they stack it up take a picture like we will be doing put it on the facebook group and there will be things that you won't believe on there. So you'll get like uh, mosquito spray, mosquito like plugins. That, by the way, mosquitoes are bad, rife here. Like I think I got bit by one on my eye, which has made it swell. And just keep an eye out for who's leaving so you can grab yourself some nice little freebies and save yourself an absolute fortune. Because we're literally gonna be putting ours on there tonight. And we have got so much stuff from so many nice people that dropped it off. So this has been Koi Fish Johnny. We're fishing his video again having an outstanding time. I have had a wonderful time and I've had a great time, but I know for a fact the kids have had a better time than I've had, okay? So please take care and I hope you enjoy your holiday here and I would book it again, baby.